my channel. I think I just got like zombieified. <laughs> so today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this look for your Halloween fun. If you guys wanted to make this look really great for a costume, just take a white t-shirt, put a couple of rips in it with maybe some scissors and rip it apart. Put some fake blood on there. Get some ripped jeans if you want to. You could also put fake blood on that and you're good to go. The other thing you could also add to your shirt or ripped jeans is a little bit of dirt. And if you guys are interested in knowing how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my hair up. Ah, much better. So now that my hair is out of my face, actually I'm gonna put it up a little bit farther because I do not want my hair hitting the liquid latex because it's hard to get out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lighten my skin color. So I'm going to use this white face paint and mix it with some of this foundation that's a little lighter than my skin tone. So I'm actually using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. So now that I look super pale and gross, <laughs> let's move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my liquid latex to create a little scarring tissue here and a little like cut kind of deal over here. So I'm gonna pour some of this into my cup, just like that much. So I'm gonna take the liquid latex and paint some of it on my cheek right here. And then I'm going to take the tissues and thin layers of tissue over the latex then I'm going to do another layer of latex and make like a puffy scar gross tissue thing. Oh this stuff smells like rotten eggs guys. Oh. Before it dries I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper and rip it like this and start putting the puff pieces. You want to make it so it's one ply instead of the two ply and start just putting them onto the latex. So then once you have it on there, you can kind of just tear the excess off. So now I'm gonna do another layer of latex on top of this. And then going in with another piece of the one ply tissue and ripping away the excess. So this is kind of what you want right here, but you're gonna, you have to wait for this to dry. So I'm gonna move on to my little cut that I wanna do up here. So for this, we're gonna use the same technique and then I'm gonna go in with scissors later and cut in a cut. And I might actually do that here as well. So we'll see. So you get this really gross looking thing on your face. <laughs> so this is still drying, this one's still drying, so we're gonna move on. I'm going to go ahead and start carving in the different pieces of my face and I'm going to be using the black paint to start with and then I'm gonna actually go in with my regular bronzer and uh, use that. But before I do that, I'm actually going to set the foundation so it doesn't go anywhere. And now I'm going to take the black paint and a paintbrush. I'm going to draw a line where I would put my contour. Now I'm going to take a sponge and blend it out. So next I'm gonna go in with my eye makeup. I did this first so it would dry fully. It's mostly there but I'm gonna go and do my eye makeup first. For my eye makeup I'm gonna make it really dark with like a red outside tone. You yeah. So I'm going to start with the Maybelline's The Nude palette because it has a black eyeshadow in here. And I'm going to bring it a little bit under my eyes as well. I went ahead and took this eyeshadow and I used it where I used the other black um, before. I the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Jumbo Lipstick. It's like a um, pale red kind of darker lipstick and put it into my crease and blend it upwards. So I'm just blending this out just a little bit all around my eyes. 
We're gonna put a little foil over here. These things are pretty much dry at this point. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this open and make it a cut more than just a little bruise. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get some scissors. I got some scissors. Now to open this up a little bit. So you see how I got it to open up a little bit? So I'm gonna take scissors and cut this open. When doing this, guys, be really careful and if you can't do it yourself, get help because you don't wanna cut yourself, for real. I created this little hole in my skin right here. I'm going to try to do the same thing with this one. So I'm just going to pick at it a little bit until I can get it to lift off of my skin. Okay, so I cut all the way down. As you can see, we got this one going. This one's almost dry and then we'll keep going. So I'm gonna come back to you when this is dry. Okay. So it's basically dry, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a little peak at the top and pull it up and open it so it snaps like a little foil. You pull it up like so and you can kind of go like that. Now I'm going to go back in with the black um, again and create these to make them look more real. And a little bit on the outside. This will give it a gross, like, rotted touch. <laughs> wow. Just sounds so great. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take this red-brown color off of the um, face painting slab thing I got and use it here as well. And I'm going to put it on the sides and the inside of the cuts. And just a little bit on this one, not a lot. So next I'm going to take the, the red lipstick I used on my eyes and give it a more red, alive touch. More on the outside than anything else. And lastly, you obviously get the fake blood. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of the fake blood on this round, like, I don't know what you'd call this thing. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys decide to do this as well, make sure you leave me a comment down below if you're going to do this. Um, also send me pictures if you do recreate it. And if you're not going to do this one, Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you're gonna be for Halloween or what you're doing for Halloween. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already and go follow me on social media so we can be friends. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs>